Pascua, Escocia, Scotland. It's not quite the right yet. Okay. There's a bit of a closure, which is causing a bit of habit. Just tell them to open it up. I wish they could. Set style. Happy 4th of July before we go any further. Yay! 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 Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, green, green, green. Ah, ah. It's cold one. I'll drink. I'll drink. Ah. I'll cold one. Ah. There you go. Hey, did you guys say thank, thank you? you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Watch your That there used to be one of the cranes that they used for building ships. This was all shipyards at one point. But they would build the great big ships that would then go back onto the river and sail away all over the world. What I'm done, I'm going to show you a magic trick all the time. Well, that was after we defeated by Edward II, uh, when the height of the river. Come on, Gigi. 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 Come on, Three main kings played a part in this castle. James the Fourth, James the Fifth, and James the Sixth. It's quite easy to remember. Fourth, fifth, sixth. James the Fourth started off building the bits in the back. This is the king's building and the chapel. James the Fifth built that bit. And four what? And James the Sixth was responsible for this bit. Although he never finished it, his wife finished it. It was Mary Aguise. She was French from France. She was the mother of Mary Queen of Scots. So there's a lineage that goes all the way down. James the Fourth, responsible for that building there. That's the King's building. And there we've got the Chapel Royal. And that's the Great Hall. So it's quite an impressive structure. I see. And it is built on an old extinct volcano. Okay. Standing on top of You'll see uh, in the centre two unicorns. The Great Hall was quite small, really. This is the biggest Great Hall in the whole of Britain, right? The one at Edinburgh Castle is going to be as big as that. And up there, and we'll say about the, the roof being built by shipbuilders. Yeah. yeah. There's no metal pegs, there's no nails, nothing holds that roof together. It's all wooden pegs. You can see why James V ran out of trees. Because yeah. he just pulled them. Well, if you read it, it tells you about that being um, made by shipbuilders. So that's a boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
get out of the way? Man. Excuse me. I can't get the most power. Put your hands down. She's, she wants to do like Diana. No, Carry, Tessa had to get ready. <laughs> One, two, three. One more. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Sit. Child, sit. Sit. We got wait, this in the movies. It's a mango, mango. It's five pounds, bro. Okay, so okay. 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 You're missing Mia. Yeah. Then to give it because there's somebody waiting. Give it to her. Okay, it's recording. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, no, two. Tessa Chindam. Go, go, go. All the daughters. Yeah, come on, everybody. Uh, Tracy, go. Tracy, go. Tracy, go. Tracy, go. Tracy, Hey. 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 We don't want to take a picture. Hey. Yeah, take it. AJ knows. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. Yes. And the boys. And the boys. AJ, everybody has to go out. Johnny's there. Tracy, put that chair a little bit closer. Got it? Oh. Hey. Okay. I don't know how many of your feet. So why are you like this? Come on. Come on. Stop moving. Tell mom to stop moving. There we go. There we go. Why don't you get it? Presentation would be a sketch or a painting. The or some are Greek, uh, Greek gods through mythology. But um, he was he was entertained by that that one's in the day. There's a jester. There's, um, Before you went from scumbag into royalty because of the king, this time you're going the other way. This is the Queen's bedchamber, and then you'll go into the inner hall, then the outer hall. So you get backwards this time. So you come in that way with the king, and then back out the Queen's in the opposite direction. And if you've got any questions, I'm sure. private correspondence. I'll happily answer any questions you have, my lords and ladies. Most welcome here in the bed chamber of the Queen. What were your roles? What was your role? I am a lady in waiting to the Queen. So my job is to keep the palace going and take care of everyday running 
of the everyday business of running a palace, so that the queen does not have to worry about that, and she can just go about the business yeah. of uh, ruling a country and taking care of her daughter, which is a job and a half, let me tell you, because the three and a half uh, year old Queen of Scots, Mary Stewart, is, uh, well, she takes after her father a great deal. She runs around and, uh, well, let's just say she has a very well-formed temperament. She knows her mind. She knows her own mind very clearly. And she will let you know what she thinks as well. So it can get a little awkward. She will do as she pleases, essentially. She is Queen of Scots, after all, so she can do whatever she likes. So taking care of her, taking care of the country, making sure that everything is running properly, that is a lot of work. So I'm here as an assistant to make sure that everything is fine, to supervise the servants, make sure they're doing their work, and to, uh, well, speak with the guests who are waiting to speak with the queen. That would be the kind of thing that I would do here. So, so what would, what would, would the queen's job be? You would not um, dress the queen. I am not of a status high enough to help dress the queen. Oh. Her closer, uh, more noble ladies in waiting would be taking care of that sort of thing. But you were asking something else? The Queen, would she do any business or anything of like course. that? Okay, so. Well, um, even when the King was alive, uh, King James V knew he had married a very clever wife, and he was not about to waste a resource like that. So she would ask as one of his primary advisors. So sometimes people would come to her rather than him in order to uh, speak with her and to perhaps, um, well, sometimes people would be refused a request by the king, would come straight to the queen to ask her instead, and to perhaps uh, try and convince her of uh, their own, uh, well, of the, the rightness of their, their, uh, their arguments. But the queen would also take care of a lot of the international politics of Scotland. As you can see from her coat of arms here, you can see its right-hand side, which is the side for the queen, has a patchwork, a very elaborate design, telling you she is related to everyone important in Europe. She has contacts in Italy, in the Holy Roman Empire, which you would know as Germany, in France, in Spain, in Hungary, everywhere in Europe she is related to someone. So she is actually a very good person to come and speak with in terms of trying to establish links with other countries, trying to perhaps uh, arrange a marriage, with one of the, the royals there. Things like that. That would be the kind of business you would take care of. Did the king take you into his chambers to give you counseling or just to talk to you by yourself with anybody else? Um, no, I don't think that would happen very much. Oh, okay. uh, he was in the bit of a habit of uh, charming certain ladies, but mm. certainly not myself, uh, as I would not actually have been near the king. As a lady-in-waiting to the queen, she's the one I take care of. Besides which, I'm afraid that uh, King James V died four years ago, so there's not going to be any of that happening at any point anymore. anymore. <laughs> but he was very diplomatic, but also a lady who was very strong-willed, and he was slightly scared of her, I think. He did not wish to displease her by making that kind of display, especially not charming one of his ladies in waiting. That would have been extremely rude. She would not have let that slide. The kids aren't here. Can you put it the ground? Which means you are a, a lavender girl. A lavender girl. Lavender. It comes from the Latin word laver, which means to wash. Oh, okay. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying I'm a washerwoman. But on a day like today, it's not really the weather for it. So I'm taking a well earned break, I think. <laughs> Tapestries. Now these are done in a traditional technique, all hand woven, uh, using as much of the traditional dyes and materials as they would have done in the 15th and 16th century. And so instead of TV or books, they would discuss the different pictures that you see in the, in the tapestries. They're not just merely pictures, you understand. They're telling a story. And hidden within the tapestries are many secret meanings. In this in the foreground, you see these creatures here. You have the lions, the stag, not being very flighty, very nervous. 
And for the apple tree, we have a hyena, perhaps indicating temptation, harmony, a little bit like the Garden of Eden. And they're all drinking from the same water, the water that is being blessed by the unicorn, the touch of its magical horn. As you continue into the rest of the panels, you'll start to see other little hints and clues that perhaps this isn't just the story of a, of a hunt. There's something else going on here. It even the unicorn is magical, and it is everlasting. You can never kill a unicorn. And so in the very final tapestry here, the unicorn is resurrected. This tapestry is perhaps one of the most famous ones, you may actually recognise the design. It's been used in films and books and... They look weird, huh? They're big! They're not big! Come here, look! Over here! Oh! Good at all! Those are the biggest ones I've ever seen! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! Come here, look at that! What the hell? Guys, let's speak up! Or right over there! Yes, it's a ram! Look at that! AJ, is it like a Dodge ram? I don't know. One of the rams! Team. Oh, okay. What about a truck? There's a, a truck called a Dutchman. Can you do that? Oh, look. They have a, look. Quack. Paxter. Quack! Pack. Killing to eat. Him. Burn. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
the dog is in control. The dog is the one that rounds. For you today is briefly talk to you about the sheep that you see in each one of these little enclosures and show you a demonstration of a working border collie. We are grazing countryside. It doesn't suit dairy cows to produce milk. It doesn't suit crops or cereals, but it's a perfect market. Unfortunately, wool has now become almost a byproduct. And it's simply because of the price and the value. When we sell a lamb to market, we get about £80. When we sell the wool from a sheep back, we get about £2. Of Scotland's two most commonly found and most popular breeds of sheep today. The Scottish Blackface and the Chieftain. One of them born and designed in the Highlands of Scotland, the other one making his way from the Cheviot Hills to they are both sheep that are designed for living on the high country. They're extremely tough and hardy. They can cope with the harshest, roughest winter weather, eat the very poorest of grazing, and still produce young come the spring. And that's the most The black face always looks the same. Black head, obviously that's how he gets his name. to serve any useful purpose whatsoever. Then use this guy. He's called the blue face head. And he's a sheep who's designed his own purpose. He's produced single lambs more than they do multiple births. This breed of sheep, he can produce twins, quads, triplets with ease. He's mad. From here to here, all the way along. He also very, very quickly. Look how she creeps along, how she stares. Here. Yeah. Okay. Those are all teenagers. Those are all teenagers. <laughs> 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 Lo hacía correr el caballo. Oye, no podía parar el caballo. El caballo paraba, el perro le mordía. Yo creo que es la pregunta del tipo. Los Black Sheep. Si se quedan originales aquí. Originales aquí. Pero que son los que están jugando en la van. En el bus. Y él dijo que sí. Si no juego música como un strangling cat. Do you know how to play? No. So how are you going to learn? Who's going to teach you? Uh, I'm going to do it by song. Come on, John. Gonna, Although I'm terrible. Look it up on the internet or YouTube maybe. You can probably look it up. Right? I'm probably going to wake up the whole boat. Yeah. got to be careful. Although I do know, I, do, I, I really don't care. But like, yeesh. I don't go faster. Oh, he's gonna beat you by a nose. He's head to head. Oh, he's got style. <laughs> like a jockey. Okay, how do you do that? You're gonna have to. Hey, I'm back. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's do it. 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 One more time. See if he goes again. 
Okay, that's it. Sounds like a motorcycle. Yeah. An adventure in Scotland. Oh, <laughs> 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 
AJ, you got to get it back. Boy, if you don't play him. 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 All right, now we got to go to the back. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I'm hunting. Go, go. We need to get off and off speed. Wait, they just put the bridge. No, we have a lot of... Uh, Too many chiefs. Yeah, I know. Three little Indians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but why don't you try now before you do anything? Try it. Try it. Don't punish them. It won't make it. It hasn't made any difference at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Se jodió Whisky Tour. Henry, Johnny, se jodió Whisky Tour. Se jodió, ¿eh? No Whisky Tour. We would do that in the all the time. Oh, Whisky, Eso es lo que quiere el chofer, yo creo. We need some alcohol. The how it is. And you have one in the skirt too. Hot shot a lift. 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 The last thing we want is leave anybody behind. No. One, two, three, four, five, That's six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. Posted oh, on Facebook already. Oh, I pushed it. I was thinking, Let me see. Let me see the picture that is real cool. Wow. Wow. You said you were gonna give a kiss to all the men here who helped you. <laughs> I know. Isabel got a picture. Got a picture of me like pushing the car. You know, we were lucky that it was a stick kid. Yeah, and I don't know. Not allowed to take all that booze, Henry. It's closed. You don't miss a trick, do you? Maybe get on the That means you don't miss any. Hi. You want me to go get it? Everybody's coming, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh, it's good. Yeah. How does it taste? It was, it was good. Can I taste it? Yeah. This is really good. And then they know. Did you see the doggy help you? How was it? I don't know. I saw that. I was at the world. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Can you want this? Yeah, it does. It has honey. It's like what I would make when you're sick. Very good. Plus ginger. You can finish it. I don't want to eat it. This one's 17. It's whiskey, beer, and lime juice. What? Wow. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Very good. Can I have it? It's not good. Can I have it? Can I have it? Quiere que te lo lleve para para. Yes, please. ¿Cuánto dije? Four. How much is it? Did you taste? No. No. Why not? I didn't want to. I'm not drunk. Oh, you're not drunk. I I I don't want to be drunk. Not too drunk. Where they coming?
parado el sistema de tránsito de doble. Aquí estamos. Nuestro tren parado. El piloto nos está ayudando a ubicar. Except Caro and Lomi, they're taking an Uber back. No, no, don't be nice right now. No, no, no. Come on, no. man. No, they, they want to be slower. They want to be alone on that car. It's over. Bro, it's just a do you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Myself, Jason is my name, and if you decide to stay on board for the whole tour, you'll be stuck with me for and it's a maternity hospital. We have a young lady down here, so if we have any emergencies, we're in the right place. But it is all about the wicked stepmother who turned her children into swan. You can see the spire, you know, the that's O'Connor Street, and you're only a short walk away from the heart of Dublin City. So, here on the right, this beautiful building, this is the General Post Office. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this building here on the right was very much part of changing the course of Irish history forever. It was the general post office back then in 1916, Easter Monday. Oh, this is jealous. It dates back over 225 years. Georgian architecture at its very fine, hopefully, a new life. The first of all, before we move on now, here we have the memorial itself on your right hand side. As you can see, in the Remaciated was authors and playwrights, you look out to your left. You'll get a great view of the IRC and up to the right will be Dublin City in all its glory. But I didn't tell you, I, I, I promised to tell you about the story of Riverlands. Look down to your left, on the left side of the river, and you're going to get to see a silver building. And just above it, it says the Three Arena. Now, that building was formerly the Point Depot, one of our many constant venues here in Dublin City. Un poquito de aburrimiento ver en las caras aquí de todo el mundo. No, no. Un poquito de sueño también. We're intaking the information. Los niños están medio muy. Only two weeks ago, I received a more significant, another bit of history. He's the very first man to be openly gay leader of the history of the Irish state. Year 1714. Uh, these houses were built during the reign of the four kings, King George the First, the Second, the Third, and the Fourth. So if you'd like to do it, come on down to Jason and I'll give you a separate piece. Uh, I know this because I've been in many, many times. Forty people in their capacity and you will have a big truck to the left of the big yellow bus. And then we have barriers all in front of us and the loose works and everything. I did it right now. Wow, that's great. Sweet. Oh, Johnny's face. There he is. Happy birthday. 
donuts. Yeah, look at the donuts. Oh my gosh. in Europe. This is the Wellington testimonial. Construction of this obelisk started in 1817 and it was built to celebrate or commemorate the victory by the Duke of Wellington over Charles de Ebus, James Butter, who opened this park. And the park that he opened was a royal deer park. The park and as I say, these are descendants of that original herd of fallow deer because the fact that they are in there just behind the trees and think about 100 meters into our left hand side. Of the roundabout, our son Uktarak, very important residence. Our son Uktarak, and Jameson had us up as, as tour guides and drivers, they had us up here one evening and flight us with Jameson with ginger ale.